If you look up the definition of death in the dictionary, it says, the act of dying, the end of life, the total and permanent cessation of all the vital functions of an organism. Sounds pretty basic, right? Kind of like something else. Say, like wind. Yeah, the definition of wind. Air in natural motion as that is moving horizontally at any velocity along the Earth's surface. Just another explanation, right? Funny thing is, when it's windy, it's windy everywhere. You have to go indoors to escape it. Or in your car, in your house, behind a wall, or maybe even a tree. You could say, death is like wind. It's everywhere. It's everywhere we go. It's in everything we eat, in what we drink. It's where our older generations have gone, and it's where everyone we know is going, including us. Normally, you don't even think about it. I mean, not really. Not until someone close to you dies. That's when you realise that death isn't like wind at all. You can't hide from it in your house, in your car, behind a wall, not anywhere. Wind comes and wind goes. But death, it's like gravity. It truly is everywhere. It's constant and it's always final. And if someone you know dies, it's like holy fucking shit. That person doesn't even exist anymore. Like what the actual fuck? It doesn't make sense. No one even seems to know how to deal with life, let alone death. This story is about how me and my brother Bobby tried to deal with both. Don't worry about it, man. Women, all the same. It's not like that. We have plans. <laughs> yeah, and I bet Todd Miller wasn't in your plans. <laughs> Just gotta forget about it, man. <sighs> Can't go back in the past. I mean, what could you do anyway? What's gonna happen is gonna happen. So you know what? What? You gotta let it happen. I don't know, man. Wait here a minute. <laughs> All right, check this out. Her anyway. Mum didn't like her either. <laughs> yeah, she didn't.
Check this out. <coughs> Fuck off. Fucking hit it, you pussy. This is how you take a girl for a ride, baby. <laughs> Oh, fucking come on, hit it, man. I've done it before, it's cool. See you later. We just want the money. Yeah, we're not going to hurt you. We want the money. Jesus. See, it's okay. He just likes to point at the people. Look, man, let me talk to him. Scared him. Yeah, well, he it ought to be scared. Shut up. Go and watch the door. Fine, fucking talk to him. See, that's better, isn't it? Uh, Amy? No. It's Ami, not Amy. Do I look like a girl? No. I'm sorry, Ami. Yeah, I just want to have a little chat. Look, I already told you. You can't get into the safe. It's on a time lock. If you try and open it, it'll call the police. It's got an alarm. Okay, so what do you do when you finish? What about when you pack your till? I already told you. Don't you listen? It is a time lock. It opens at 6.30 in the morning. That's at the end of my shift. Okay, don't you move. You heard him, bro. We gotta go. Ah, for fuck's sake. Desi? What if someone comes? You keep watch. Shit. What the f idiot? Sorry, man. I didn't see you coming. This is for you.
You're late. Again. I'm sorry, Chaz. I got held up. It's not Chaz. It's Mr. Stevens to you, and I really don't care what your excuse is this time, because it's not going to happen again. Do you understand? Des? Yes, Mr. Stevens. Hang on a minute. Have you ever had one of those moments in life where time seems to slow down? Or maybe even stop? Maybe something happens. Maybe you meet somebody. And everything suddenly seems crystal clear. A moment you'll never forget. Well, this is one of those moments. Huh? Bit of a douche. Your manager. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, his dad owns a store. Um, one cappuccino and two lattes. Uh, small, medium or large? All large. OK. Coming right up. <laughs> OK. My dress! Oh, I am so sorry. What's going on here? I was just... It's my fault. I picked it up by the lid and it just fell. I see. Des, why didn't you put the lid on properly? What do I always tell you about the lids? Is that you? Can I get some food? Are you supposed to be at work? You got a final demand letter. This is bullshit. Well, don't worry, man. I'm gonna get a job soon, and then with both of us working... I just got fired. You watch. Give me a shirt. What? My shirt? Now! Take it off! Oh, okay, okay. You're not going to rape me, are you? What? I heard about this guy. Shut up! I'm not gonna rape you. Oh, think I want to hear your life story? It was just. I'll sad. tell you your life story. You get born in Curry Land, and you bring your fucking yapping curry munching head over here, and take all our jobs in all the servos until one day. You get your head blown off by me, because you won't shut up! Bobby, what the f***, man? You want to work in a service station? Do I look like I want to work in a servo? What the f*** are you doing? We're taking over, bro. Are you crazy? Don't worry, man. I got this under control. It's like 12.45, six hours. I can do this shit. We should just go. We got a customer. What the say? Just act completely normal and everything will be fine. What the hell is that? You gotta press the button. What? Why not let the boy fuel, idiot? Where is it? What did you do? I hit the button! Are you fucking retarded? It says emergency only! What the hell? Ah, uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, we're just having some technical difficulties in here. Could you please just go back to your car and fill up? That was close. I mean, do you think she realised that we're actually not... Oh,
six. S six? Yeah. What? Number six, the fuel. Ah. Uh, uh, how much was it? Um, you're supposed to tell me that. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Number six. Yeah. Um, it's, um, it's free. Free? Yeah, free. Congratulations. You're our lucky winner. What? Yeah, that's what the siren was for. Uh, you're our thousandth customer today. And our free bonus giveaway is a free tank. You're kidding. What are you doing, idiot? Do I look like I'm kidding? Uh, okay. Thanks, I guess. Just one more thing. Bobby! What are you doing? Quick, grab his legs! Customers like this, I'm not going to let you rape me or her. Rape? Yeah. We're not gonna rape you! For f sake! What the hell are you going to grab her for? Uh, are you fing retarded? She knew something was up. How could you possibly know that? Uh, well, congratulations! You win free view! I mean, what the f was that? Fing whatever! She didn't have a clue! Didn't have a clue? You're f What are you doing? Okay, did you know something was up? What? Did you think something was up with us two? Be honest, I'm not gonna hurt you. Uh, I guess there was something strange about getting free fuel, but... See, uh... I knew it. I told you! You're definitely not getting your fuel discount, Mr. Bossy Pants. What the f***, man? Why are you always trying to be right? I knew something was up. What was I supposed to do, let her go? You're the one that said you could do the till, so go and work it out. Grab her keys and move her car. What? Really? Where? Take it round back. You want it too? No, sir. I'm fine. Hey, if we're gonna do this, you gotta listen to me. Listen to you? Bobby, we're robbing a servo in the middle of the night. Shh. <clears throat> Will that be all, sir? Hmm? Supposed to ask that before you open the till? Ah, uh, you know what I mean. Anything else, guys? <coughs> and, uh, and a packet of Peter Winfields, too. You want, uh, 20s or 25s, mate? Yeah, um, what? Uh, 20s or 25s? Um, 25s. We need a lighter, too. Oh, and a lighter as well. Thirty-six fifty, boys. Thanks. What are you doing? Are you crazy? What if they tell their parents where they got that from? Did we ever tell Mum where we got them from? God, I miss her. Grab us an energy drink. Hey, if we're gonna be here all night, we might as well enjoy it.
this, Scotty. What you want to do, eh? Huh? Everything. Ah! Sally. <sighs> Better make a triple more, Sally. Oh. Uh, hey! It'll be 28, ladies. Yes, Sal. <clears throat> Keep the change. Go buy yourself a nice dress. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna go hit an ATM. I am dry. Uh, uh, come on, man. We got six here. Let's drink them. I've got to take a piss, so you take that. Sorry, babe. Some kids ran into me and made me spill the drinks on the way over. Don't you just hate assholes like that? <laughs> Oh, you don't want to fuck with these boys. It's Ray Blackwood. What? Fucking Ray Blackwood, president of the Red Belly Blacks. I suggest you lay low, bro. Ray the Shrimp Belly. No, I, I told you. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tom. You guys okay? Wow. Thanks. Those guys make my skin crawl. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm Des. Jesse. Wouldn't mind being warm by her thighs. Yeah? Let's get some food. All right, I gotta get some cash out. Speaking of cash, hey, Billy boy! Oh, shit! Get off! Ah, oh, come on! Hey, Brandy, where are you running to? Nowhere! So, where's the 150 you owe me? Ah! 
Oh, I still don't have it! Get the f off, man! Come on! When are you gonna pay me back? Oh, you better get off, man. I'm in the snakes now. You don't want any trouble, do you? Oh, you're so f cool. Hey, bro, check him out. He's in the snakes. Aren't you, Brandy, you little shit? Oh, come on, let us go! Look, man, I'm gonna get you your money. Like I said, I'm with the snakes now. I'll have your money by next week. Next week? How are you gonna do that? Man, I'm in the snakes! So what they got you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's been six months, Billy. Hey! Hey! I hope you don't like your face. Okay! I heard it in a club meet. My first snakes meet. <laughs> Billy Brandy, the red belly black snake. Hey! I haven't finished. I heard our chief talking to the new master of arms. They were talking about a job they wanted to do. They said they might need some young bloods to help out. That's what they call us before we're blacks. I asked if I could help. And when are you gonna pay me back? Okay. So, on Thursdays, they used to do their weekly runs to the bank on Thursdays. They only do monthly runs to the bank now because old man Barnaby's such a tight ass since that new freeway went in. He's been cutting back on everything. He's even got some sort of curry munchers working there so he doesn't have to pay him jack. So, you want to rob a servo, Brandy? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Rob a servo. Billy Brandy the bandit. Hey, he's a snake now, man. <laughs> Better not tease him too much. Yeah, <laughs> laugh it up. I'll be the one smiling when I'm a high roller by a island to live on. Might be nothing but tequila and bitches. Right. So you're going to be able to buy an island with the money you get from a servo job. You really are dumb as No way. I heard there's 450 Gs in that safe. Oh, whatever, idiot. Now, you boys, you better let me go, or else I'm going to tell all the boys in the club. You don't want any trouble, do you? Oh. Excuse me. Mrs. Carrington? Desmond Thomas. Taking after that brother of yours, are we? Doing a little shoplifting? What? No, I'm just... I'll be a good boy and reach me a litre of that milk. They stack it so high. Okay. Thanks, dear. At least you've still got your manners. Another one! Two Thomas boys in the one night. Mrs C, nice to see you. You're up late. Yes, my dear, just the milk. I see you've gone up to be a fine, upstanding citizen, Bobby. A real high achiever. Thank you. What the hell is she doing here at one in the morning? How she do I know? Getting milk? Hello. Welcome to Fuel Mart. Yeah. Pull up a chair. What is going on? I think they're going to rob us. These two? You know them? They were my students when they were small boys in primary school. Yeah, well, it looks like they've come a long way. What the hell are we going to do, Bobby? She knows who we are. And if you didn't put her in that storeroom, no one would have been able to put it together. Not at least in two or more miles away. Cool. I've always wanted to lock that old bitch up anyway. Plus, we'll be long gone before anyone gets out of there. Long gone? Long gone? Long gone to run from the cops, Bobby, for robbery. Not to mention the three people in the storeroom. That's kidnapping as well. This is your grand plan to save our house. You're a joke, man. Who needs a house when you go into prison? What the f are we going to do? We're just going to have to clean it up then, aren't we? <sighs> There's a mop in the storeroom. 
No point crying over spilt milk, is there? You let me out of here right now, young man! Shut up! This isn't cool. What? Mister, I need to go to the bathroom, and I think you should- We got a customer! You can go after that! Shut up! Or I'll duct tape you all together and there won't be any bathroom breaks! You're not gonna clean up much milk with that, Sonny. <laughs> Oh, I told you it was a little slow. It's a good thing you're doing, Sonny. My day, they would have locked him up. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it's been easy, but his family, you know. And if you can't mm. trust your family, who can you trust? Mm. Hey, little Timmy, gonna need a mop, mate. Not a broom. A mop, you silly sausage. <laughs> Here you go, Sonny. Your brother can buy you a lolly when you finish your cleaning job. <laughs> Are you serious? You can't just go around telling people I'm a retard. Why not? I mean, you can't clean up milk with a broom, can you? You silly sausage. <laughs> so funny, aren't you? Just another night out on the town. Have you ever just once stopped to have a look at yourself? Oh, come on, Tess. It was a joke. <laughs> Little Timmy. <laughs> you know what? This is your mess. You clean it up. I'll get you a lolly. I don't want to be the first one to talk, but you really- Then shut up. You know that's very rude. Yeah, that's not very nice. Did I ask you to talk, did I? No, but this is our storeroom. We were here first. Yeah, you're the one that's always coming in here. Why don't you just stay out there? You guys are You're our hostages. I don't know where the I want. If you think you're going to get away with this, you've got another thing coming. We are not your hostages. We are simply stuck in a storeroom. Yes, we're stuck here. You're in a storeroom because I put you in a storeroom. Not because you're stuck in here. I refuse to be a hostage. I'm just slightly inconvenienced right now. Yeah, you can say that again. You guys think you're not hostages? No way. Not really. You should know better, Desmond Thomas. Don't you think it'd be wise to end this before someone gets hurt? You were always the brighter one. Honestly, the best thing you could do is to put a stop to this right now. This is ridiculous. What are we going to do about Mrs. C? I don't even think they're hostages. We should just bail, man. Mm -hmm. 
What? Mrs. C knows who we are. And they don't think that they're hostages. Who cares? You shouldn't let them get to you like that. You're the one in control. This is how you deal with them. You keep an eye on them. Not a hostage! I'll show you not a hostage! You don't scare me, boy. This is our storeroom now. Oi, Bobby, they're coming! It's not a f word. Or I'll put a bullet in ya. Ladies, looking like you're having a good night. Yes, Monkey. Mm -hmm. I love your uniform. Oh. Yeah, cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, can I help you? Oh, well, you could kiss me. No, kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, you know the rules, ladies. No kissing until you pay for the fuel. Um, number six? 69. <laughs> you got a name, handsome? Uh, Max? Hmm. Uh, um, that's 8220, thanks. I like that name. Have you got a bathroom? I think so. I, I mean, uh, just down the side there? Mm. Here you go, Max. Um, you look lonely, Maxie. You should join us. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'd love to, but I can't, you know. I've got to look after the store. Oh, oh. why can't you get him to look after the store? Oh, well, I would, you know, but uh, he's a little bit slow. <laughs> you know? Come on. It won't hurt. Only for a little bit. <laughs> Did you see that? They were hot! Come on, man, you're not gonna tell me they weren't hot. Yeah, okay. They were attractive. Attra you don't call girls like that attractive. They were simply hot. What would you do if all you were to someone was hot? What? What's wrong with you, man? Nothing. Oh, Max, do you think you could give me a hand with something? No way. Uh, just a second. Give me a shirt, man. No way. You're not going in there. Uh, okay, bro. Um. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I mean, when will this ever happen again? No! We're robbing a servo. Two hot girls walk in and they ask me to go in there with them! You're gonna take that away from me? <laughs> this is my God-given right. This is my manhood on the line. No. Why? Look at this. <laughs> well, they definitely don't have brandy. <laughs> How about brandy, eh? They're gonna have half of them locked up now. <laughs> There's them right. It seems that the police do have some more people in custody and the story will unfold as time progresses. We'll go back to the studio for now. What are we gonna do, man? With what? With this house, man. We're gonna lose it. What about the servo? What about it? Full 50 Gs, man. We could do a lot with that. 
Save Mum's house easy. Brandy's always half white. As if there's that much money in that safe. Well, even with a quarter of it, save the house, head up north, do that trip she always wanted, and then just, you know, do whatever. Whatever. Look, man, you saw the report. I mean, they gotta have half the snakes locked up in there. And they can't do that job now. Which means... You can't be serious. You don't even know if what Brandy's saying is true. He did get it from the snakes. Bobby Thomas is here to see you. Right. Uh, show him. Come through. Bobby, Mr. Sparks. Uh, what can I help you with? Come on, Mr. Sparks, you know why I'm here. I'm sorry, Bobby. It's... I've done everything I can. <laughs> You've got to give us more time. Look, I've lined up a job. It just doesn't start till next month. We just need until then. Please, Bobby, take a seat. Bobby, I've heard this too many times. There simply are no other options. You have to sell or you have to pay. John! You know, I'm not going to get half as much as what it's worth. Not in this market. Is everything OK in here? Yeah, everything's fine. Thank you, thank you. Bobby, sit down now. <sighs> Look, what if I sell the car? Will that give us more time? You still have a loan on the car, Bobby. If I could help, I would. For your mum, for old times' sake. But there's just no other way. Hello? I know you're down there. How can I help you? Just these things. Are you OK? Yes, I am fine. Des? No, I don't know what you mean. Why are you pretending to be Indian? Oh, man. Feeling kinky. Isn't he supposed to be knocked out? What did you give him? Well, he said it was atrophy. It's the same shit that Dexter uses to knock people out. Well, he's not knocked out. Are you sure you gave him the right stuff? Well, not now. This will have to do. And is he going to be okay? What are you doing to me? I guess. And what are we going to do about little Timmy? Um, I've got some more atrophy. We can use that if we need to. Okay, yep. Yeah? Yep, okay. Oh, Timmy boy. Don't worry about Matt. He's just taking a nap. Yeah. Do you want a lolly? You've been working so hard. Yeah. yeah. Mac said that if you were a good boy, you could have any lollies that you wanted. Oh, really? Did he say that? Yeah, that's right, Timmy. And I think that you've been such a good boy. So we can take care of the counter while you go and choose any lollies that you like. Hey, hey. Hey, you. Damn! What? Fuck! What? It's got a free trip circuit timer on it. What does that mean? 
It means that it won't open until the timer goes off. Fuck, shit, I thought you said this place was supposed to be easy. I know, I know. Look, we're just gonna have to wait until the timer goes off and then we can open it then. Okay, well, when is that? Like, how are we gonna know when that happens? Timmy, would you mind coming over here for a moment? Do you know what this is? Yeah. It's a time lock safe. Won't open till the time's up, or else it'll set off the alarm. Fuck. Oh, hey, bye. Hmm. What a great idea. When will this ever happen again? Um, um, Untie him now. Uh, gotcha. Are you wasted? They gave me. Okay. What did you give him? Just some atrophine, I think. What the f is atrophine? And what do you mean you think? Well, it's the same shit that Dexter uses. Tips in my mouth. You're gonna be awesome. You seen Dexter? Yes, I've seen Dexter. But this doesn't look like what happens on Dexter. Mm, Dexter. Bring him over to the storeroom. Yeah. It's not my life. What? What? Open the door. Did you guys see my dip? Mandy? Sandy? Sally? Get the f in the storeroom. Get the f in the mother f storeroom. Hey, bro, that was awesome. <laughs> You're great. I love you. <laughs> How wasted are you? Oh, maybe just a little bit. This is great. What the f am I going to do with you now? Don't be angry, because they tricked me. <laughs> but aren't they beautiful? Get out here now. Get the out here and take him in there now. I love you, bro. I'm so proud of you. We're family, man. We're family. Oh my god, is that? Oh, I've got to get a photo of this. So, did you guys have anything to do with that? What? Randy? I don't know what you're talking about. So is it just you and Bobby? Nah, we grew up here. I uh, mean, it is now. Our mum passed away six months ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, that's cool. Yeah, Dad left when we were young, so don't know much about him. How did your mum? Ah, uh, she had a stroke. She smoked like a chimney. Well, she must have been a pretty good mum. Yeah. She was. Yeah, Bobby just likes to go a bit too far sometimes, you know? Nothing wrong with letting loose every now and then. I think it's good for your soul. You do? Yeah, well, I got up this morning when you called me, didn't I? No, really, I'm glad you called. So yeah, now I'm a nurse. Do you like it? Yeah, it's all right, but I don't like where I am at the moment. The head nurse is a bitch, and the doctors are sleazy. What about all the cleaning up bedpans and vomit? What? No, it's not like that. 
all the time. I guess I just like helping people. Well, that's cool. And not everyone could do it. Takes guts. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's good for now. I have to say, I don't think I've had an ice cream brunch in maybe ever. I love it. It's great for hangovers. Yeah, I feel fresh. Must be the company. Oh, yeah, is that right? <laughs> well, that's right. Oh, you got a little bit just there. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We're back. <laughs> well, this has been nice. Yeah, it has. So, I guess I'll let you go then. Okay. Um, all right. Then uh, I'll... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. Um... Okay, then I'll call you. Okay, call me. Okay. <laughs> um, bye. Uh, see ya. That was tolerable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was nice. Do you want to promise me something? Maybe. Just no bullshit, okay? Okay. No bullshit. Jesse? Des? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I... What are you doing here? I just finished a shift, so I came to get some chips. This is a service station, right? Uh... You didn't tell me you worked here. Oh, no, I don't. Well, it kind of looks like it. Oh. You don't have to be embarrassed. I used to work at a service oh, no, station. no, it's not that. Okay, so what are you doing? I'm busy right now. <laughs> busy doing what? I'm busy standing here. Before you were my favourite teacher. It's just sometimes you were really scary when you were telling me off. You taste absolutely delicious. 
And you! Other girl! I don't know you. But you rock. <gasps> hey, my little Indianian guy! <sighs> I'm sorry I yelled at you before. <laughs> Give me a hug. No. But I'm sorry. You're not sorry. Yes, I am! Tell him I'm sorry! Tell him I'm sorry! What the fuck are you guys doing, Bobby? Uh, well, we are robbing this place. <laughs> <laughs> you called me a curry muncher. I'm sorry, I called you a curry muncher. <laughs> I love curry. You scared me with that gun. I scared you with a gun! I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Come here. Okay, I forgive you. Hey, it's pretty big in this store. We could have a party in here. What the hell were you guys thinking? Tez, why are you acting so weird? Great. <laughs> Just when I think I meet a really amazing guy and he turns into a complete weirdo. It's not like that. Do you work here or not? Last chance. Hey, uh, <clears throat> I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, can I get some more smokes, man? You sold smokes to these kids? No. Oh. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, if you want to get all technical about it, you didn't, but you were here. <laughs> what is going on? Does he work here? Sure looks like it. Yeah, it does. Thanks. Keep the change. Jesse, wait. I'll show you. <sighs> show me what? Yeah, show her what? Shut up. <laughs> Open it. What? Open the door. Come on. Des, what is going on? Hey, Jenny. It's Jesse. <gasps> Peter Grummage and Mark Owen. This is Carrington? Whoa! She's your teacher too? <gasps> We're like cousins. Let's hug that shit out. Dude. No way. You two boys come into the store and try to buy cigarettes and call me names when I say no. Well, you're in my world now. This is your world. Hey, hey, hey little guys, is that true? You can't be mean to my main man or me. He's the man. Did you just call him Man Man, or did you call me Man? He called you Man. Yeah, Man. Like I said, he's the man. This is what happens when you skip school, boys. <laughs> oh, cool. Look at him. You're robbing a servo. When you put it like that... Can you just be fucking straight with me? Okay. Technically, we're robbing a servo. Oh my, what the hell have I gotten myself into? Hey, don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Can you hear yourself? What? Well, usually when you rub somewhere, you don't take it over and stop working there. I know it sounds crazy, but the safe is on a time lock. So we had to take over. And that's when you came in. Actually, it's when you all came in. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? You guys are the greatest. Cool. I love being in a robbery. <laughs> oh, hey, you got any of those smokes left? Oh, no. No, we sold them to our mates. Yeah, but we got something better. We. Hey. Oh. <laughs> well, no time like the present. Wait, you can't smoke in here. <laughs> hey, 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 don't, don't stress my Indianian friend. Well, I think it might be a good idea. 
What? <laughs> a little hocus pocus can ease the mind. No way! Hocus pocus? I didn't know you were an old hippie, Mrs. C. <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me. To Queensland? Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. Look, last night was the most amazing night that I've ever had. And I didn't want to, but the only reason I'm doing this is to save our mum's house. It's all we've got left. You want me to run away with you to Queensland? Do you have any idea how crazy that sounds? Jesse, you hate your job. And you said you needed a break. You're the one that said you should let loose every now and then. Des, when I said letting loose, I didn't mean rob a servo and go on the run to Queensland. Come on, Jessie. I know it sounds crazy. Don't tell me you don't feel something too. The night shift, night shift. I'm working the night shift. Night shift, night shift. I'm fucking high as a kite, bitch. Night shift, night shift. I'm working the night shift. Night shift, night shift. I'm fucking high as a kite, bitch. I'm never catching a break because I'd rather go and skate instead of getting on the straight. I'm sick of cones of all me mates. I wake and bake with Blake and Jake. It's half on Saturday night. I'm late. I got a date with fate. And mate, I gotta tell ya, it don't look so great. It's like a scratch. I can't itch. I'm paranoid and I twitch. I'm just a record that skips. And I'm not even a blip. But I will never give in. I may be digging a ditch. I know that life is a bitch. That's why I'm working the night shift. What could go wrong? Sorry. Well, it's fucking awesome, man. She's beautiful. Well, I'm glad I got you in a good mood. Let's go. Where? Come on. Come on, man. And 50 big ones, man. Couldn't get easier than this. This is crazy, man. It's not a small thing. That's the thing. It is a small thing. How do you even know there's that much money in there? It doesn't matter. The Red Belly Blacks have got to have good intel. First of all, we got this from Brandy. Second of all, you can't be serious. What about the house? What about Mum? Bobby! This isn't breaking into Terry Williamson's gas depot. You know he knows it's you doing it. Oh, come on, man. It's a piece of piss. I mean, no security, no cameras. Old man Barnaby is such a tight ass. Probably wouldn't change light bulbs if he didn't have to. Look, you just lost your job. And I haven't had work for weeks now. I don't know, man. What if someone sees us? People know your car. Hell, we'll park the car down in the industrial state. We'll get those BB guns we got from Uncle Steve. They look real enough. Then we head to the store, takes two seconds, cruise back to the car, bags full of cash, head to Queensland. House saved. It's just one catch. Just one. We gotta do this tonight. The fire brigade are on their way now. I told you you can't smoke in here. You better let us go now. If my mum had better sense, then I would have been aborted. Oh man. Oh man. This is it. It's over. I'm. F there has to be something we can do. Yeah, go to prison. Look, 
You might as well just go. I'm sorry. Wait, the toilets. Get everyone into the toilets. Give me your shirt. What? Just trust me on this. I can handle it. No, Jesse. You should just go. Now, Des. Go in there and keep him quiet, eh? Yeah. I'd rather go escape instead of getting on the straight. I'm sick of coats of all my mates and wake and bake with Blake and Jake. It's half I've stayed at night. I'm playing a game. It's like a smash. Well, we're back in the toilet. Man, that'll be for killer. Killer weed indeed! Hey there. You got a call out in the fire alarm. Did alarm go off here at all? No, I didn't hear an alarm. Did you hear one? Nah, I didn't. Maybe it was a false one, like some rats chewing on the wires or something. You know how those rats like to get dirty and chew on things. Could be that. Just one thing, though. And what's that? There are no wires. It's a wireless system. That's right. You smell something funny, Kirk? Yeah, I do, Camo. It smells like cigarettes, but a bit more funky. You know how serious a false alarm is? Yes, sir, I... I said, you know how much shit we have to go through to get here in under five minutes. <laughs> hey. Camo, you got chicos. Love chicos. Oh, yeah. You understand? I understand. Good. If we have to come back here again tonight, or any other night, what may be a false alarm, someone's going to be paying for it. Uh, yes, sir. It won't happen again, sir. What won't happen again? Nothing. That's what I thought you said. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Kirk, how are you? What's going on here? Good. Come on. Nothing. False alarm. <laughs> Get the game set then? Absolutely. See you there. See you, man. See you, camera. Hello, officer. How can I help you? No, just a routine inspection. It's normal procedure when there's a false alarm. Oh, dude, this is awesome. We're like hostages in a robbery. No, you're like hostages in two robberies. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, no, no. You can't rob a place that's already been robbed. I told you before. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, we don't know what that was. You haven't seen anything strange tonight, love? No, sure haven't. <laughs> what about you back there? It... Oh, it's... that a lady's shirt you're wearing? Uh... It's mine. Uh, it's... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I forgot my shirt, and since he was on stocking, we swapped. Oh. The boss, he's real strict on uniforms, and we just want to keep him happy. <laughs> I see. Well, there's no harm wearing the correct uniform, is there? <laughs> oh. I mean, this belongs to you. Thanks. <laughs> Who would have thought wearing the wrong uniform could be so dangerous? <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought? What was that? <laughs> A 
It doesn't sound like rats to me. This is 422. I'm on my way. What the hell have I gotten myself into? Well, that was crazy. We almost went to jail. OK, no need to get upset. You were brilliant. I should be at home, in bed, asleep. Well, don't get angry at me. You're the one that decided to stay. I decided to stay. Oh, fine. This is your mess. You clean it up. What are you doing? Lady Troubles? What? What are you doing? What's wrong? Oh, hey, uh, I think we should get everyone back into the storeroom, because one of the kids took a crap in there and it stinks. Don't you even care that the firemen came? And then the police? Yeah. You did a great job. <laughs> the world is in perfect balance, man. Good and evil are like totally even. What? Well, good is like here, and evil is here. They're in perfect harmony. Oh, it's beautiful. And we're the good guys. Don't you get it? And the outside world? They're the bad guys. You are an idiot. <laughs> All right. Let's get everyone back into the storeroom. Jesse, hey, come on, don't be upset. Go away. I can't do that right now. Look, I'm sorry I got you into this mess. But the only way out is if we help each other. Yeah, Julie, it's all right. Just open the door, Jess. Please, you're the coolest girl I've ever met. I want to make it up to you. Yeah, Julie, we'll make it up to you. Shut up! <sighs> Only on one condition. Anything. That you never do anything this stupid again. <sighs> Done. OK. <laughs> All right, everybody in. Get us some cold drinks. Yeah, okay. Ami, can you please give me a hand? this clown? Yeah, yeah, I know him. Left me tied to a pole last time I saw him, didn't he? He's in charge now. Ah, uh, please don't kill us, please don't kill us. Please Shut the fuck up, Punjabi, you piece of shit. Uh, my name is not Punjabi. Uh, I don't give a fuck. I'm the one with the gun and I said shut up. He's not going to stop doing that if you keep pointing that gun in his face. It makes him nervous. Did I tell you to fucking talk? I said, shut up! No! Oh, get off me! I said not to do that! Now say sorry! No! You, put him the fuck down. Not until he says sorry. What? You're joking, aren't you? You heard me. He has to say sorry first. Okay, then. Say sorry. I said, say I'm sorry, you dumb. Now, 
Leona. Sorry. Oh. You're lucky, Jez. You're lucky I wasn't Where watching. Where is the safe? It's over there, but it's on a time lock. And if you try and open it, you'll set off an alarm. Jimmy, this place was supposed to be low key. Yeah, it's supposed to. That's what Brandy told me too. What? He's the reason I'm here. You're here to rob this place. You told this club secrets. Oh, shit, what are we gonna do, Ray? When does it open? 6.30. Well then, I guess we'll have to wait, won't we? Well, that's a surprise. <laughs> hmm. You're a bit of a smart, aren't you? Get the f shirt. Put it on. You're going to be our checkout, bitch. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck is going on in here? <laughs> Ray, you better get a look at this. <laughs> You guys having some sort of party in here, are ya? Oh, looky what we have here. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm, so good. Hey, man. How about a little respect for the ladies? You too. Oh, tonight just gets better and better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Has anyone else got something to say? Well, I think... <laughs> <laughs> How about now? Nah, that's what I thought. This isn't fun anymore. Nope. Oh, fuck, man, bitch. What have you gone and done to yourself, numb nuts? You really are dumb as f, aren't you? Help me! I need a doctor! How the f did you shoot yourself? Help me! Come on, you guys! I really need a doctor! Hey, Jimmy, did you shoot this? No. And I didn't shoot you. Help me! Please! Well, it isn't our f problem, is it? Oh. Put me in the back of the rest. What happened to him? He shot himself. What's the f for? It's okay, I'm a nurse. Quick, get me that paper towel. We need something to stop the bleeding. What the f are we gonna do now, right? It's not our f problem. Leave him in there. I knew that little prick was f in trouble. F Jim? Calm the f down. It's not our f problem, all right? 
Now we're going to stay here now. There's blood all over that shirt, Ray. We've got the guns, OK? You know, I'm coming through that door. We'll put them in the room. Why don't we? Hmm? Quick, we're running out of time. Just go get him now. Those guys have aria. Look, you're a red belly now, aren't you? Billy? Des, we have to do something. He's losing blood fast. What am I supposed to do? Hey, Des. Hey, Bobby, wake up. <coughs> oh, man, talk about a bad calm down. <laughs> Are you okay? I don't feel so good. <coughs> nah, get me out of here before this guy bleeds all over me. <laughs> Ah, 
Is he going to be OK? He's very lucky. Hey, hey, where's my little buddy? I'm right here, my friend. <laughs> We've got to get him yeah. to the hospital. <laughs> All right, I'll meet you at the hospital. <laughs> so, why were they running the store? We were lucky those two young men were here. Otherwise, I don't know what we would have done. So the bikers, they were here the whole time. We would have been robbed if it weren't for these two. Yeah. They saved us. Oh, here comes my boss. I better go talk to him. How are you mean? Thanks. Well, I think you owe me a trip to Queensland. Is that right? A deal's a deal, isn't it? What could go wrong? <laughs> 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 we still lost Mum's home, but the bank didn't take it. It was burnt down in retribution by the red belly black snakes. What we didn't know is that Mum had it insured, so we got a huge payout. Me and Bobby took that family holiday after all. We got to spread Mum's ashes in Queensland just like she wanted. If you look up the definition of life in a dictionary, it says, the condition that distinguishes organisms from inorganic objects and dead organisms, being manifested by growth through metabolism, reproduction, and the power of adaptation to environment through changes originating internally. Sounds pretty complicated, right? Funny thing is, life is complicated full of choices and so many different things. Some are easy, some are hard. Things don't always work out the way you maybe hoped. But that's what's funny. That's life itself. Death comes for us all one day, but death is only change. And change is a part of life. So without death, there is no change. And without change, there is no life. It's just the way it has to be. Your life is based on the choices and decisions you make. So try to always make good decisions. Because you only get one life. <laughs> and whatever you do, make it a good one.
mine. And what's my line after that? <laughs> Get it, can you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get out here now. That's good. Mm -hmm. Way shot one, take five. Oh shit, man! Why did you put it on fire? Uh, okay. Oh, like, no, right. It's alright. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Sorry, you, you I'm good. Pedro just wasn't ready. It's alright. It's alright. No, it was looking fire. good, but I thought yeah. there was more to do. No, 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 no. no. It's alright. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. It's alright. Put it out. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. What? No, it's not like that. Like, not all the time. Anyway. Scene yeah. <laughs> 33A, pick up, shot two, take one. No way! I heard there's 550 Gs in that safe. Oh, what an <sighs> idiot. No, you boys don't want any trouble, do you? Because I'm going to tell all... Oh. Grab her keys and move the car. Move her car. Uh, reset. Sorry, sir. You're right. Uh... Action. Grab her keys and move the car. Hey, 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 hey. You gotta get rid of all those bottles there, please. Oh, next to the door. And there is one behind there. Oh, that booty. Shake that booty. Scene 33A, pick up, shot one, take one, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at it, man! <laughs> 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 As part of an undercover task force, police this morning have raided three locations. Two of... No, sorry, Joey. Oh, yeah. 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 Let's wait for the car. So, you want to wait for a car, Brent? <laughs> right. As part of an undercover task force, police have seized... Damn. Yeah. Damn pet. Nah, shit. Result of ongoing state laws which permit. permit? Uh -oh. Are you boys, you don't want any trouble, do you? Because I'm going to tell all the boys in the club. So, you want to rob a servo, Randy? Um, they're not a fucking house. Yeah, it's too hard. It's a bandit, yeah. And what's my line after that? Um, he's a red belly now. We're going to not laugh. Yeah, Billy and Brandon are bandits, dude. Alright. Think, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> 
Yeah. You have to do something. He's losing blood fast. What am I supposed to do? Things, damn it. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I'm Des. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> That's a wrap. Yum, yum. Yum, yum.